This is such a beautiful idea of love of God. You know, are we all, everyone seated here, every one of us that is seated here, are here because why? We love all the friends of Allah. That's why we are here. We love Hazrat Sultan Abbao, that's why you are here. We love Hazrat Kibla Fakir, no more of the time, that's why you are here. You love Fadi Sabi Nabi Mutala, that's why you are here. You love the Sabi Nabi Mutala, that's why you are here. We love the friends of Allah, that is why we are here. You left your homes to be here. You left your TVs to be here. But only you can't be the food in the moment. That's why the food is also important. I love the I'm going to choke now and then. Hadith in Baraka. The letter by Abu Qasaf Ali Luther Ammo. It was then quoted by Al Tabrani. Quoted by Al Tabrani. An authenticated Hadith in Baraka. We are all here as lovers of only Allah. Lovers of the friends of Allah. Let's digest this. And what this Hadith in Baraka is an, is an experience. And we are all part of that experience. The Hadith in Mubaraka says, Whoever loves some category of human being shall be awakened on the day of judgment in their company. In their company. Hadith number one. Hadith number two, narrated by Hazrat Ibn Mas'ud. A man came to meet the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him, Ya Rasulullah, what do you say? What do you say about someone who loves pious people? Who loves pious people like us, like me and you? What do you say about some people, someone who loves pious people but cannot attain their degree of piety? but cannot attain their degree of loftiness, cannot attain their degree of holiness, cannot, degree, they cannot, can, cannot reach their degree of, of, of spirituality, of wilayat. We far below that. What do you have to say about those people? Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah, what is the name of He's the mercy of both the worlds. He's the light of both the worlds, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Huzun Nabi Huzun, the light of both the words, the most important words replies, he says, everyone will be with those whom he has loved. May Allah raise us with his friends. You can raise with who you want to. You can raise with who you want to. May Allah raise us with his friends. Now the commentary. This is beautiful. Of course, it cannot be more beautiful than the words of the source of Allah. But this is experience. The comment is experiential experience of this Adit Mubaraka. It says, bear with me. The love of a person for a certain category of people or person bears witness to the profound inner affinity that we have with Allah's friends. This remains true even when this person is unable to elevate himself to the spiritual level of those whom he loves. For different reasons, reasons which can both be outward and inward. In the year after, this affinity, this closeness will play its full role. As stated in this two Hadith Mubarak. Hadith Imam Ghazali of Allah says, listen to this. We finish now. The Sheikh Abu Jafar, Sayyid Al Ali, who? Listen carefully. The Sheikh Abu Jafar, Sayyid Al Ali, had this vision. He had this vision. He says, I saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because that is writing a commentary here. He says, Sheikh Abu Jafar, Sayyid Al Ali, had this vision. I saw Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in my dream. He was with a group of fukara. Fukara means for your love, fakir, fukara, fakir. He was with a group of fukara. We saw the sky opening. He's telling his vision. 
And he saw the sky opening and two angels descending, coming down, therefore. One held a basin in his hand and the other a jug. The basin was placed before the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa who washed his hands, then ordered the fukara to do the same, to wash the hands in the basin. After that, the basin was placed in front of me. Means he must also wash his hands. Who says? Sayyid uh, Sheikh Abu Jafar Sayyid al He said, then the basin was brought to me, so I must also wash my hands. Allah, now listen. Listen to this. Allah, when he was placed in front of me, one of the angels said to the other angel, Do not pour water for him. He is not one of the four. Who is the party metal? Yeah, Fukara is in here. Don't pour water on his hand. He is not from all the Fukara. So I said, I said, put this to the Yahweh Sulullah Holy Ghost. Nice way. Yahweh Sulullah Sulullah Holy Ghost. Who is the following? Saying, not from you, did you not say that man shall be those he loves? He replied, that is right. Then I said, oh, Messenger of Allah, in truth, I love thee and I love the fukara. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa then said to the angels, pour water for him, for he is one of the fukara. We have all the levels of Allah in this place. Maybe fall under this category. Maybe some water falls into our laps also. Maybe we also need to wash our hands in the face of love. 